Would you believe if we told you that someday, batteries would be able to last an eternity? Nuclear diamond batteries bring up a whole new world with limitless possibilities, and by an eternity, we mean 28,000 years. Keep watching to learn how Elon Musk, the wealthiest man in the world, plans to use this technology in his EV manufacturing business. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Elon Musk's insane nuclear diamond battery. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. Tesla created a 28,000 year long energy source out of nuclear waste. Sounds like a sci-fi movie. It is, in fact, incredibly genuine. These nuclear diamond batteries have been under development for several years by a tech firm in California called Nanodiamond Battery and DB. Now, it appears that they may have completed the task. In addition to releasing a consumer version that can power smartphones for more than a decade, not quite 28,000 years, the company claims it will begin selling the battery to its commercial partners within the next two years. Still, you can't gripe about not having to charge your phone for the next 10 years. The diamond battery will also give space rocket technology a significant boost since it can be used to power spacecraft as they travel millions of kilometers into the cosmos. In the future, these batteries may power satellites, giving them the extra power they need to de orbit at the end of their valid lifetimes or power long-lasting space expeditions. Milan will notably benefit much from it. A nuclear battery, known as a radioactive thermoelectric generator, or RTG, powers NASA spacecraft and SpaceX, which aims to carry people and cargo to Mars by 2029. Implantable medical devices, or IMDs, require batteries that can operate for an extended time without requiring maintenance or recharging. Additionally, it should be as small and light as possible. Nuclear batteries known as beta-altaic cells were often used in IMD throughout the 1970s. However, the potential radiation danger spurred the transition to lithium-ion batteries. The use of beta-altaic cells was reviewed in the 1980s. The diamond batteries are the ideal successor for the lithium-ion batteries being developed by Tesla and employed in, especially in light of recent developments in nuclear batteries. Other EV brands and electric vehicles range is approximately 500 miles using lithium-ion batteries. Your automobile, however, will be able to travel for several days without a charge, thanks to nuclear diamond batteries. However, because the battery is still developing, the Nano Diamond Battery Company has not yet disclosed the battery's price. The complicated technology that goes into making these batteries. The method uses layers of micro diamonds stacked into a battery together with radioactive isotopes extracted from nuclear waste. The diamond batteries are helpful for medical equipment that stay within your body for a long time, including pacemakers and hearing aids, since they can create energy for a long time. Machines that continuously need a small quantity of electricity generated over extended periods are powered by batteries. To improve production, the system adds diamond layers and radioactive waste panels. The battery's ability to transform nuclear energy, viewed as a destructive element, into something positive is something that physicists respect. Nuclear energy may be utilized to create devastation, such as when it is used to create nuclear bombs, so this should be understood. As we previously stated, it is secure since it is made of a sturdy material that prevents others' access to the power cells. Additionally, it contains a covering made of a super-thick substance called polycrystal that can contain all radiation. In actuality, it has 12 times the density of steel. As a result, these batteries are regarded as being extremely secure. Every atom that we are aware of emits some radioactivity. Early testing findings indicate that these new batteries create even less radioactivity than our bodies, if not less than our bodies. Diamonds, which are solid electrical conductors and form a fantastic target for electronic equipment, are used in the NDB system. In actuality, they transfer heat four times faster than steel does. These tiny diamonds are produced by scientists using chemical vapor deposition, a procedure where carbon is forced to crystallize on a substrate material by gases heated to extremely high temperatures. NDB acknowledges that this method has a cost bottleneck and is hence costly. Right now, if enough of these diamond battery cells are coupled, they could even be able to power some of the most energy-intensive devices now used on Earth, such as tablets and smartphones with LED displays. On the other hand, NDB plans to introduce its first commercial product, a line of smartwatches, in 2022. If this is the case, a single watch with a single battery might be owned and passed down the generations without ever needing to be replaced. Take a look at an heirloom. The battery, constructed of two nanodiamonds, creates its charge rather than storing energy from outside sources, nearly causing it to crash. Suppose it applied to vehicles or other moving objects. The diamond battery is a beta-voltaic device, similar to photovoltaic solar cells, turning beta radiation into electricity rather than light. It is created using chemical vapor deposition, which grows diamond fumes at high temperatures using C14 methane and hydrogen plasma. Nuclear waste is a nuclear waste because of the radioactive react reports that NDB plants use to create their batteries. Although it isn't high-grade radioactive waste, contamination from nuclear plant fuel rods is extremely dangerous, and a nuclear generator contains much of it. The company believes that if mass-manufactured, their batteries will be even more affordable than existing batteries like lithium-ion. 
Currently, nuclear power plants have a significance. Nuclear waste is a byproduct of nuclear energy production. It is difficult to get rid of this garbage. Therefore, the only option up until now has been to bury it in steel and concrete until now. These nuclear power facilities are anticipated to pay nuclear diamond battery businesses to use nuclear waste in their batteries. This dramatically lowers the price of these batteries to better forecast their performance and create methods for enhancing it. Dr. Tom Scott's research at the University of Bristol focuses on understanding materials primary and changing qualities in a range of artificial and natural contexts. He put a lot of effort into his studies on behalf of the nuclear power industry. He is the technical director of IMI Tech Limited. This subsidiary company specializes in locating and mapping radioactive materials in industrial, urban, and environmental settings when subjected to extreme pressure in the Earth's crust. The development of natural diamonds, made entirely of carbon, takes hundreds of thousands to millions of years. No radioactive carbon is present. These synthetic diamonds are produced using a high-pressure machine and an excellent natural carbon source like graphite, but they don't have radioactive stuff in them. For usage in diamond batteries, radioactive artificial diamonds are created using radioactive C14 isotopes, which are known to be the radioactive waste with the highest volume. In terms of functionality, a diamond battery is comparable to radioactive materials, electro generators used in spacecraft and reversal. The diamond battery creates electric charge via direct energy conversion utilizing a semiconductor diode, and C14 is a radioactive material. These diamond cells don't produce as much power as other possibilities do. They may, however, play a significant role in the production of future electronics due to their extended longevity. By encasing radioactive elements inside diamond, it is feasible to transform a long-term, significant issue with nuclear waste management into a nuclear-powered battery for an endless source of clean energy. An artificial diamond can be made for much less money than it would cost to clean up nuclear waste and abandon nuclear fields. It is predicted that despite efforts, the United States will only have enough radioactive fuel by 2023 to power 2.5 nuclear battery modules annually. Nuclear diamond batteries are, without a doubt, the future of technology. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.